Okay guys, um, welcome back. So after the last painting um, that I was going to re-pour and then come to find out <laughs> it's actually pending sale now. So I have a stack of paintings that I have in my stack to re-pour and I figured I would just talk to you guys about them first. So here's one of them and aside from the fact that the colors just don't go together um, it also has this crackle on it, um, and I believe it's because before it was fully dried, I left it in my room, uh, my art room, and it got really cold. Um, the canvas is also loose, but I'll tighten the canvas up. Um, so I can sand this down and get rid of the crackle, but to do that, I have to trash the whole thing and re-pour over. So we're going to call this number one. And we're just going to vote at the bottom. Just let me know which ones you think I should pour over and which ones you think I should keep. Um, anything that I show during this video, if you want to purchase it, it all the paintings in this video will be 50% off for purchase. And I will varnish them as soon as you let me know that you for sure want it. Um, just because these are paintings that I was going to pour over anyway. So, if you want it, let me know that you want it. Um, you can just put claim and then the number. And we'll get up with each other on that. Um, if you think I should keep it, let me know. If you think I should pour over it, let me know. So, this is number one. Um, I'm going to bring it up a little. So, it's got some, you know, the crackle, which is kind of cool in a way. But for me, I just... The stark between all of this gunmetal metallics to the yellow to the blue and then the big blue in the middle, which kind of looks like a bear, maybe. Its head and its arms and its body, maybe. I'm not sure. But anyway, so here's number. Then I'm going to move that back. Here is number two. Now, those of you who watched this live video, I actually really loved this one. But then, Bill's mom had dropped another painting that wasn't fully dry on top of it. So there's a few smears here. Um, I still really love the painting. I'm wondering if maybe I could just paint something over this. Um, little smear spot. Maybe I could just paint something over it. But I don't know. So we'll have to just kind of see. Um, but this was the swipe with the gold metallics. Um, so this will be number two. Let me know what you think. If you're interested in buying it and you have something you want me to paint over it, let me know um, and we'll work that out. But here's number two. Make sure you can see all of it because that light's kind of <laughs> the metallics in it. <laughs> okay, number three was a beautiful... This was, I think this was the uh, tree ring pour. And this is the one that had the smudge on it that landed on the one that I just showed you. Um, so I can paint over this section here with something and keep it or I can pour over it. So this is number three. There's some deep blues, um, gold metallics. There's some pinks coming through on the edges. Um, a lot of pink over here on this edge. I don't even know if you can see that there. Um, but it does have that smudge. So if we keep it, we would have to paint over it. So this is number three. Just let me know what you think. Number four. This was a Pharaoh Family Fan Club Challenge. I don't really like how this lighting is doing. I'm trying to make it better and it's just not working for me. <laughs> All right. It's a Pharaoh Family Fan Club Challenge. Um, orange, red, lime tree green, bronze, white and black. Um, it's got some neat cells, but I'm just not sure about it. 
that's a little too bright. Okay, we're trying to get this worked out because I'm not in my room. And normally my camera is angled so it's not as prominent on it. My art mess is all over the place. Okay, so this is number four. So, opinions, whatnot. Here is number five. Number five was a swipe that after I did the swipe, I tilted and it kind of wobbled the cells some. I just feel like maybe it's a little too dark. Um... Or whatnot, but here it is. I'll show it to you in all the ways so that you can see without that light being in the way. So this is number five. I think it looks decent, but I'm not sure. And then number six. <laughs> I'm really not sure on this one, guys. Um, one sec. Let me lift my camera up a little higher because this one's larger. See if that works. Okay, so I love this section down here, and then I love this up here, but the two together for me just don't look like they meet. It doesn't look like they're meant to be one solid piece. Maybe they are, maybe it's just me. Everybody's likes and dislikes are different. It's a mostly metallic piece. Um, this one is also larger. I want to say this one is a 9 by 14, maybe? It might be a 9 by 12. Give me a second. It's a 9 by 12. So, this is a 9 by 12. Um, and this is number 6. So, this will be number 6. Uh, same thing goes for all of them. If you're interested in purchasing it, everything in this video is 50% off. If you want it, if you want me to re-pour on it, let me know. If you think I should keep it, let me know. Um, any of them that have the little, the two that have the smudges um, can be painted on. Um, I can add anything. Well, I'm not going to say anything. There are limits to my artistic abilities. <laughs> but so give me your opinions on those and let me know what you think. And there's one through six and just give me some ideals. Like this video and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thank you.